Hey there, so in this video, we're gonna look at the trainer's calendar inside Peak Distinction and some cool things you can do with it. So before we do that, let's go and have a look at where the trainer calendar is and how the basics work. So if we head over to your name in the top corner here, click on that, it opens your main menu for Peak Distinction, and down here you can find calendar. When you click on calendar, it takes you through to this, which looks very similar to the calendar you'll see on a client dashboard or on a group dashboard. So a quick tour around here, if you click today, it takes you back to today. Jump to, you can pick a date in the future and you can navigate backwards and forwards week by week inside here using these two arrows. You can also have a week view and a day view. So, so far, very similar to what you'll see inside a client's dashboard. Now, if you wanna add your own event to this, all you need to do is click on add event in the top corner, pick a date. So I'm gonna go for Tuesday, I'm gonna go for 9 a.m. Title, I'm just gonna call this test event inside here i could choose my own color and then i can repeat it as well if i want to and i can add notes about that particular event inside here so so far no different to what we do when we add a scheduled event for an individual client on their dashboard so i'm going to hit save so you can see now we have that test event in here and if i click on it um i can see in the notes and stuff i've put inside there okay so that's the calendar and that's how it works but how is this useful for you so you could obviously put inside here reminders that you need to do something for a client, monitor a check-in, um, all that kind of thing. But that's all well and good if you've only got a few clients and you have to go in here all the time and, and add in those different events. But once you want to automate some of this, and as you all know at PT Ninja, we always like to try and find ways for you to automate repeatable tasks so you can scale your business a lot easier. And PT Distinction is really cool for that kind of stuff. So let's look at some of the really cool things you can do here. The first thing we're going to go and look at is what you can do uh, in an individual client dashboard and how you can link that to your calendar. So let's go to our clients and I'm going to go to client list. I'm going to go and click on my mum's name. <laughs> so we're going to use my mum for this example. Uh, and inside here, you can see we've got exactly the same setup like we normally do. We have our schedule in there. Again, very similar to what we've just seen inside our trainer calendar. And all I'm going to do here is just simply go and add an event. Now, you can add in anything you like. Um, you can do matter if it's coaching programs, assessments, tracking forms, whatever it is, this whole process is the same. But for this example, I'm just going to go for scheduled event. I'm going to go for Wednesday at 11 a.m. Event type, I'm just going to pick other here. But again, it doesn't matter which one you pick. It really doesn't matter. So I'm going to give it a title. So I'm going to call this uh, check-in for my client. And then down here, I'm going to tick this box, which is add an event to a trainer's own calendar. Again, I can repeat this. I can do notes and stuff down here as well, and then click save. Now you'll notice down here, that's now been added into the uh, client's calendar or the client's schedule, but you'll see it's got a thicker black line around the outside. So that's telling me this is also in my calendar as a trainer. So if I now head up to my main menu, click on calendar, and inside here, you can actually see that check ins now been added in, but it also has the client's name on it. So I actually know what client to go to, to go and view that particular thing that's been scheduled in for them. So it allows me to keep track of different things that's going off in the client's account. So if I want to add something into a client's account and I want to remind of it too, this is really useful for assessments, weekly check ins, that kind of thing, um, I could put it in there. Okay, so that's one step. What happens if I want to add something in, uh, but I don't necessarily want the client to see it? Well, Again, when you add stuff into a client's account, so let's use a coaching item, for example. I'm going to go and use a text document. I'm just going to call this uh, test event two. Uh, put some text inside there. We have these options again down the bottom. I'm going to pick inactive. So all this means now is the client cannot see this particular document. They can't see it. So I'm going to click save. Do I add to schedule? Yes, I do. And again, I can pick my date. So I'm going to go for the uh, 25th this time. I'm going to go for, let's go for 11 a.m. I don't want to repeat this, but I can do In fact, I will repeat this. We'll do this every week for the next three weeks, four weeks. Click advanced. And again, I've got that option on here under the advanced section. I've got this little option here that says on trainer's calendar. Now, this is exactly the same whether you schedule a workout program, whether you schedule a PDF, video, uh, results tracking, anything doesn't matter what it is. Whenever you schedule something, or any kind of coaching item, any kind of anything, if you click advanced, you'll have this option to add it to your calendar. So when you do that, click add to schedule. It will add it in. And it's added it into our client schedule. Now, currently, 
got the black box around the outside. We can see it inside the schedule, but if we go to the coaching area, the client can't see that document yet. Or again, whatever it is in there, they can't see that. So it's not live. Now, this would work whether it's live or whether it's not live, it doesn't matter. But if we actually go up now to our main menu and go back to our calendar, we'll actually see that in there. So this means you can actually add stuff to your client's account to remind you to go and do something inside there. Now, you might be thinking, well, why is that important? Why would I want to add it to my client's account? I could just come in here and click add. Well, that's really important because it means we can actually utilize groups to remind us to do things. And that if we can utilize groups, we can then automate it. So let's go and take a look at how that would work. I'm going to go now and I'm going to go and add in a group. And let's say I want to do uh, every week with my client when they sign up, I want to do a weekly check-in with them. Um, but that check-in is going to be not with them, but I'm going to go into the software and I'm going to check that they've done their forms, their, week, their weekly review forms, maybe their assessments, or whatever it is, it doesn't particularly matter. So let's say that's what we want to do here. So what I'm going to do is just type in weekly client check-ins, just like so. It's spelled weekly, right? So I'm going to put that in there, and I'm going to click Add. I click OK to go to my group dashboard. So now we're in on this group. I'm going to go and I'm going to add in, um, it doesn't matter what document you add into one with you. It can be assessments, coaching, tracking, bonds, whatever it is. And I'm actually going to use a text document again in this example, but it can be anything you want it to be. Uh, there's a reason I want to use text document, and we'll, we'll explore that a bit later on. But I'm going to go to the add button, coaching, text document. I'm just going to pop weekly check in in the top here. So uh, weekly client check in. I'm going to leave this blank. I'm going to switch this over to inactive and then click save. Yes, I want to add it to schedule. So I'm going to go yes, go days after joining. And I'm going to go for six days after joining at 9 a.m. is fine. Repeating every week for as long as I want it to be. Uh, I'm just going to go for 12 weeks here, but it could be for the whole year if you want it to be. It doesn't really matter. Then I'm going to click on advanced. I'm going to click on trainer's calendar. And I can put a note in there if I want to, but I don't have to. Click add schedule, click OK. And you'll see now they've all been added in the schedule for the next 12 weeks. You can see here we have the, uh, the thicker line around the outside of the box here. And that's scheduled each week. But if we go to our coaching area, and again, it doesn't matter what kind of coaching item or program or assessment or whatever you use here, you can see we have, yes, it's being copied to client. No, it's not live, so they can't see it yet. So now we've got that set up, what can we actually do with it? Well, let's go and find our clients. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to use uh, my mum's account again. So I'm going to type in uh, Amanda. There she is. And all I'm going to do now is go and click groups. And I'm going to go and add in this check-in group to uh, that account. So let's go and find our weekly check-in. There it is. And I'm going to go and add that in straight away. Click, click add and OK. So now if I close it off and come down here, you can see we have our weekly check-in already scheduled in uh, at the end of the week. It's got the black box around it, the black thicker line around the outside of it. So we know it's on our schedule. But if I go into the actual coaching area, we can see if we come down here that there's our weekly check-in, but it's not live yet. And it's come from that group. So the moment the client can't see that, but we can. So now then let's go up to, um, we'll go to our home first. And so let's say we come in here and we go to our programs area, go to our calendar, want to see what we go, what's going on for the week. I go, okay, cool. So we know now that we've got uh, Amanda Burley's weekly client check-in coming up. So I'm going to go and click on that. I can go and click either view item, take me through to that actual item then I can see any notes and stuff I've got inside there if I want to. Or I can just go to my client's account and actually go and see what their check-in is all about. So and I've got to go and work on Amanda now. So I'll go to my clients. I just type in Amanda. I go through to her account. And this is why I like to use text documents sometimes because I can actually go into the coaching area now on my client check-in, hit my drop down menu, hit edit content, and I can just put my notes inside here as well. So I can type uh, today's date, which is say the 22nd, uh, the 6th, 20. I can put um, any notes I want about my particular client in down there to say that I've actually done a particular check-in and I can click save. And I don't need to add that to schedule again. So now if I go back up here, I go back to my calendar, Let's say we go to the following week and reminders coming up. Uh, I can see, oh, I've got Amanda Burley's checking coming up. Click on there, click uh, view item. I'm like, oh, so last week, this is what that client particularly did. Hope they worked on this. Let's go and see if they've actually done that. And I go back up here again, go to my clients, type in my client's name, and actually then work my way through 
how they've done. And again, I follow the same process through again, updating that coaching document to see how they're progressing. So you can see there's actually a number of cool different ways you can use uh, your groups and your train your uh, training calendar with that. So I hope that's been helpful. I hope that's been useful. I, I, I do think sometimes the calendar is one of the most underrated and underused features inside PTD, but you can see it can be really, really useful to set reminders for yourself and to track stuff for your clients. So I hope it's been really, really useful. Uh, always, any questions, please do let us know. We're always here to help. And uh, I'll see you at my next video. Cheers, everybody. Bye-bye.